Hey YouTube, I'm back on here for another video. Good morning. But some I want to also say is that um, sometimes I do get confused about um, I, I do get confused about Christianity and my relationship with God. But one thing I also want to say is that even though I get confused about Christianity and my relationship with God and being a Christian and following God. I know like that I, there are certain things I know not to do and know that it's wrong. And the point of me saying this is um the point of me saying this is to say my relationship with God is not perfect and I also wanna say I'm not coming on here on the camera talking to you like um, I've never did anything or like I never seen because no, I've seen just like everybody else, we fall short of the glory of God. Just I've fallen short of the glory of God. We all have according to Romans three twenty three. And I also wanna say, you know, I come to you not as a person that's perfect and have never did nothing and just an angel or I come to you as a person who um I come to you as a person that um, I come to you as another person, but I also come to you, I come to you as a human being, but I also come to you, um, to spread the gospel and to also say that, you know, I'm still learning too, more about the Bible and more things that I thought was okay in my life. Excuse me. A lot of things that I thought was okay. I'm learning more and more that it's not okay according to God. Like the world standard, it may be okay, but God's standard, it's not okay. Like God has a higher standard for us. And, you know, um, I say all this to say my relationship with God is not perfect. And I'm not trying to come on camera to say I'm perfect because I'm far from perfect. But one thing I will say is this, um, a lot of the things that we is right in the world and society and it's not right with God. It's not it's not right with God and it's not okay with God. And a lot of the things that I was doing, a lot of things I was doing and I was thinking it was okay and it was right. I'm beginning to find out I'm beginning to find out more and more as I read more of his word that wait a minute, that's not okay. Wait a minute, I thought that was okay. That's not okay in God's word. Wait a minute. I thought that was okay. That's not okay. But I just want to come on here and share this message with y'all and it's just to say my, I'm not coming to y'all from a place of perfect and never sinned and, you know, I'm coming and to say I'm not like trying to judge anyone. I'm just going based on the word of God and I'm also like there are still some things in my life that I'm still like working on and asking God to help me, but I also come into you like this channel, I want to use my channel to be um, open and vulnerable and like tell you the things that I'm also going with and how I overcome certain sins and, you know, just and also to spread the gospel and to also um, wake up people like like wake up people about certain things because there are certain things that we think is right. But when we read his word. It's like, oh, that's not okay. That's not okay. It's okay in the work with the world, but with God, it's not okay. And it's somewhere in the Bible that says, if you're a friend of the world and you are enmity, I believe you're against God and you're enmity with God, if I'm saying that right. But you can't be a friend of the world and a friend of God. And you can't even be in the middle because that's lukewarm. He said, if you lukewarm, one foot in the world, one foot with him, he will spit you out. And I, I have did that. I have been lukewarm where I was one foot, got one foot in the world and one foot with God. And he don't, he don't respect that. He don't like that. That's what the Bible says that he will spit you up out of his mouth. And I know a lot of people, a lot of people may not like the messages that I'm about to come up here and post. But, um, again, I want to say I'm not coming to you as perfect and, um, never did nothing as an angel or that I've never seen because I have seen I'm not coming to you as perfect but I'm coming to you as a person as another human being and also as someone that you know is also spreading the gospel and there's um there's um learning as a person that's also learning Again, I'm learning the Bible all over again. I feel like I'm starting all over again my relationship with God. I come to you as a person that's also learning and also 
telling other people what I learned about the Bible so that we all can get a chance to be like saved and we before it's too late before Jesus come come back and again I'm not saying I'm perfect I'm not saying I'm perfect because I'm far from I'm not perfect but and I don't feel like it's about being perfect it's about following Jesus and relying on his story not our own story but no I'm not perfect and my relationship with God is not perfect and um and I hope nobody get from my um videos or my messages that I'm coming off as judgment or anything like that. I'm just um trying to go like going according to the Bible. And I feel like I also want to add this too. I feel like in my other videos, even though I would talk about God, I feel like there were certain things that I wasn't talking about because I felt like people would get upset with me or people would get mad with me or they would feel like I was judgmental. Like there were times where now that I think about it, I don't feel like I was being I don't feel like I was using my channel to the full extent. Like I don't I feel like there were things that I that was left unsaid about the Bible and things that I didn't say because I was afraid of getting other people upset and I feel like I would only talk about the good and not talk about um things that I learned like that was a sin or that was wrong but um to be honest I feel like I wouldn't I feel like I wouldn't be I wouldn't be a true Christian or a true follower of Christ or a true I, I just wouldn't feel right if I just didn't tell the truth according to the Bible and it I, I would feel like I was living in disobedience if I didn't tell it like it is, like the Bible said, if I just said, if I just agreed and said, and that's something that I'm trying to work on too, because I'd be afraid of backlash. And I just, that's something I feel like I did a lot of agree when people say, oh, we're not per or this and that I agreed and I didn't. But, and that's true, we're not perfect. We all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But we also have to ask God to help us and rely on his story and thing. You know, also, I feel like I wouldn't be right or I feel like I wouldn't, it wouldn't be right or I wouldn't be living in obedience to God if I just went along with certain things and then said it like it is. Like, for example, I know some people say that, oh, it's, oh, it's okay to, some people think that, okay, it's okay to, um, it's okay to um, listen to music, for example. A lot of people think it's okay to listen to certain music. It's okay to listen to music. God wants you to have fun, but I feel like the enemy will mix in a little lies and a little truth, and he got us deceived into thinking that music is okay. Like, listen to all music is okay, but... You got to be careful with that because certain music, you opening up certain, in anything that you do that's a sin, you opening up certain portals and um, to, to demons, you're giving the enemy a foothold access in your life. Some people say, oh, it's okay to listen to music. God doesn't care. But the music music that's promoting things like sin and things of the world and promoting you to do certain things like lust has you know that word I don't, I don't know I never really feel comfortable saying even though I do say that but it's like music that's promoting you to um lust kill um um that's promoting you to steal or do anything that's not against I mean that's against the word of God that's wrong that's wrong and that's against God. And, you know, I feel like I wouldn't be right if I said, yes, it's okay to listen to mu music and God don't care because he care about everything. He do care. 1 Peter 5, 7 says, catch your kill by him for he cares for you. And I feel like I would be wrong to go along with certain things, even though other people say, other people may not like it. I would be really wrong to go along with certain things. Even though the Bible speaks against certain things, I would be wrong to go against it. I mean, I would be wrong to say, yes, it's okay. I would be wrong, and I would also get consequences if I was to go along with certain things to say, yes, this is okay when the Word of God or when God himself says that's not okay. And again, before I end this video, I just say all this to say my relationship um, with God isn't like perfect but I can see a lot of the changes that God has made in me and God is making changes in us all and I want to say 
if you are like building your relationship with God and you're struggling with sin, go to God, ask him to help you because I was struggling with doing certain things. He helped me. And there's still things that I, I'm asking God to help me with, but ask him to help you. Jesus will help you get victory over it. He will help you get victory over your sin, over the sin or your sin, over the sins. He will help you. And that's not to say, again, I want to say, because I know some people say, oh, she thinks she's perfect. She thinks. No, I'm not perfect, and I'm not coming to you as a person as perfect, but I'm coming to you as another human being, and I'm also coming to you as a person that's spreading the word of God and, and um, you know, coming to you also as another human being and as a person that's spreading his word and is doing what God wants me to do. And I'm also like, you know, coming to you also as a person that has also like did a lot of things like listen to a lot of music or first or and telling you how I overcame it just telling you my testimony and that my relationship with God hasn't been perfect and isn't perfect and still to this day isn't perfect and you know that's just what I want to say. And if you are like following God or if you even want to rededicate your life back to him or want to give your life to Christ, then um, and, and you're struggling with sin, ask God to help you. And even when you don't get like overcome that the first time, ask God to help you. And also not just only ask God to help you, but also get into his word and um feed your spirit like listen to sermons read the bible pray go to church do things that feed your spirit and the more you do that you will notice you won't you will notice you will start to not want to do certain things you will also notice you will see yourself drifting away from sin and you will also see yourself not comfortable with certain things and you will be you will become where you like, okay, I'm not comfortable with doing this anymore and I'm not okay with sin. And you, you'll still, I feel like you'll still slip into sin here and there, but you'll feel bad about it. And you ask God to help you and you'll repent. Well, I'm just speaking off of my personal experience because I do slip into sin here and there and I'm not perfect, but that's also not, I'm not going to say, you know, just keep sinning and abusing God's grace because I don't, but I also going to say, just ask God to help you. Just ask, because I don't want to lead nobody down the wrong path. And I don't want to, I don't want to say, okay, um, I don't want to say, okay, I'm going to keep doing this sin. And I'm going to keep abusing God's grace. Because I feel like even when we are doing repetitive sin and you feel like you can't stop, I, I'm, I feel like God understands that. But at the same time, God don't agree with the sin and he, he don't he don't like it. But I feel like God understand that, you know, he understand and he will help you. You just keep asking God, help me, Lord. Keep asking God for help and also keep getting into his word and feeding your spirit. It's like the more you feed your spirit. Your spirit will dominate and you will begin to start walking in the spirit. And, you know, and if if you are like, I want to say something else. If you are struggling with sin, please don't, please don't beat yourself up. Please, please don't like, I'm not saying don't feel bad about it because sin is like wrong and it's against God. Like, I'm not saying don't feel bad about it, but I'm just saying, please don't beat yourself up to the point you think I can't go to God and I can't. Because I have did that so many times where I was thinking, Lord, I sin against God. So and even sometimes I do that where I think, okay, I sin against God so many times that I don't think I can come back to him. I don't think I deserve to be in his presence. Like I began to think like that and I began to beat myself up and that's just the enemy. Please don't let him like keep you from your relationship with God. Don't, don't let the enemy stop you. If you sin, please don't beat yourself up. Like I'm not saying don't feel bad about it. Like feel bad about what you did, but don't beat yourself up. Even though sometimes for me, that's, that's sometimes what I do when I slip into sin, I begin to think, Am I really a Christian or I begin to beat myself up? But then I, um, I can tell a difference in between before and now. Before, when I sin or slip into sin, I would like let that beat myself up and stay from God and say, Oh, I don't deserve to be in His presence. Versus now, I do feel bad about it and I may think that way and I may even beat myself up for it. But then I realize, Wait a minute. I can ask God to help me get victory over that sin. I can ask God to help me. And, you know, 
And now I don't let it stop me in my relationship with God. I just come to God and I be honest. I say, Lord, I'm struggling with this. I'm struggling with stop doing this. Help me, Lord. And just be honest and open with God. Ask him to help you. Don't shame away from God. God loves you. Don't shy away from him because you're in, you in sin. God loves you. God loves us all. And he died for our sins. And he loves you. And, you know, also, I want to say, I also want to say, I don't say all this to say, um, because I feel like I did this before, like why so many times in the past, I feel like I would abuse God's grace. And I would say, OK, and I'm trying to be more conscious about that now and more aware about that now. Like there was times in the past where I would be like, OK, God going to forgive me for this. So I do this. I ask God to forget and I would abuse his grace before. And, you know, and I'm not saying that to say, say you know, just. Oh, I'm going to do this and then ask God if, or abuse his grace. I'm not saying abuse his grace. I'm just saying God understands. If you fall into this sin over and over and over, God understands. He loves you. He will help you get victory over that sin. Just keep coming to God. Keep asking him to help you because without Jesus, we can't. We can't do it without him. We need him in history. Just keep coming to God and saying, Lord, help me. Keep sit before God and ask him. Just say, Lord, I've been doing this and that, and I know this ain't pleasing to you. Please help me stop doing this. Keep asking God to help you. And also just keep like listening to sermons and reading the Bible. Most importantly, definitely read the Bible and listen to sermons and go to church and do things that fill your spirit because the more you walk in the spirit, the more you feed, the more you feed your spirit, you're going to begin to walk in the spirit. You're going to begin to grow spiritually. And also, I want to say, I want to also say this, whichever one you feed the most, your spirit or your flesh, that's the one that's going to dominate the most. And I want to just say, um, give your life to God. And just because you like in repetitive sin, because I deal with repetitive, I don't know about y'all, but I deal with repetitive sin over and over and over, um, doing the same sin over and over and over and sinning like and I felt bad about it, but, you know, over and over and over, I kept doing this particular sin and then asking God to forgive me and to help me. And now that I look back, it was with music. And I know y'all probably thinking, um, you know, music was my um, weakness because, you know, I noticed when I listen to certain music i mean i would be listening to music but god told me to stop listening to god would tell me stop listening to the, the rock music with cussing and prophet and stop listening to the rock music stop listening to this music and you know i was i would listen to it and then i would feel bad and i would repent god help me i would go back do the same thing repeat the cycle over again <laughs> But something I want to say is that if you are dealing with repetitive sin, please keep coming to God. Please keep asking him to help you. Please keep feeding your spirit. The most important thing if you are dealing with repetitive sin is keep keep asking God to help you. Number one, keep asking God to help you for his help to overcome that sin and get victory over that sin. Keep asking God for help, number one. Number two, feed your spirit. Um, feed your spirit like read the bible read god's word um listen to sermons listen to gospel music worship music um go to church do anything that feeds your spirit like get 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 spirit eat your spiritual food as my dad put it in a lot of churches mr daryl and my dad they say it's like feeding your spirit like my dad here tell me have you ate your spiritual food there he, he calls it spiritual food and he write that spiritual food the way same way the flesh eats food like actual food food and stuff the spirit eat food so ask god to help you keep asking him to help you secondly um listen you know feed your spirit listen to sermons and stuff and the third thing i want to say is um don't let the enemy don't let the enemy like get in you and begin to convince you that you know you're too far gone and god doesn't love you and don't let satan do that because he will do that he's a expert manipulate he ain't gonna even get the devil credit he's he's a liar and fourthly i also want to say you know um fourthly well this ain't a fourth tip no this ain't no fourth tip i just gave you three things but a thing that i want to add to this also is um Try not to abuse God's grace or do things because you know that he's, like, try not to do things, like, do things with the intent of, I know God will forgive me because I think 
like try not to abuse God's grace, like, but you know, we we all sin, have sin, and fell short into the glory of God. And even now, I have slipped into sin, and I had to repent and ask God to forgive me. But that's something I want to say is that, you know, please don't like let just because you in a repetitive sin cycle, please don't let that stop you from getting closer to God and your relationship with God. Because we all need God, we all need Jesus, and Jesus, He is coming back. He, we never know when he's coming back. The Bible says he come back like a thief, like a thief. Jesus come back like in the twinkling of the of an eye. You never know when he's coming back. And you know, the Lord, he is coming back. God is coming back. Jesus is coming back. And just keep asking him to help you and just keep feeding most importantly, keep asking God to help you to get victory and to overcome this sin or these sins and Secondly, feed your spirit. Feed your spirit with the word of God and sermons and gospel music. And also go to church and get around other Christians and people that can pour into your spirit and they can also help you. And um, um, yeah, that's the two things I would say. Most importantly, feed your spirit and ask God to help you. And I'm also going to do a video on overcoming sin and how God showed me to overcome certain things, how I overcame certain things, even though there are certain things I'm still dealing with, I got to get rid of, I got to stop doing. But I say all this to say that um, please don't think you like need to be perfect to come to Jesus. He will clean you up. He will clean you up. And Jesus, he loves you. He wants a relationship with you. And give your life to God, give your life to Christ. And, um, and I just pray that this message like blesses someone and, um, encourages someone. And this message also leads people to Christ and wins over souls for God's kingdom. Cause Jesus, he is coming back one day. He is coming back. And I know we all know that Jesus is coming back. Jesus is coming back and Jesus is going to judge us. He's going to judge us. Or we are going to be judged. We're going to be either a sheep or a goat, according to Matthew 25, I believe. We're going to either be sheep or goat. And I want to be a sheep. I want to um, I want to be a sheep. I want to follow God. I want to be one of his sheep. I want to be a sheep. I don't want to be a goat. And because, um, you know, when you die, if you go to, you know, this is eternity. This is eternity. When you die, you, you if you go to hell or if a person go to hell when they die, that's forever. That's eternity. You can't get up out of that torture. According to the Bible, it's torture. It's gnashing and weeping of teeth. But if you go to heaven, that's also eternal. And the funny thing that I always wanted is when you go, I know that when you go to hell, you can't come up out of that. But when you go to heaven, can you, is there such thing as, what, who would really, Really, who would really want to get kicked out of heaven or anything? I know I showed sure one. Who in the white mind would want to go get out of heaven? I definitely would. But that's why I always wonder. I know when you go to hell, you can't come out. But when heaven, like, are there people that have got kicked out? That's why I wonder sometimes. But I know the devil, Satan, he got kicked out. He got kicked out because he. they say he wanted to take over God's kingdom. He wanted to be like the most high. And I think I read something in the Bible that says that. But to, the last thing I want to leave you with is if you don't get nothing else from this video, then number one, um, if you are dealing with repetitive sin or just sin in general, number one, ask God to help you. He will help you. He will help you. Ask God to help you. Even if you do it again, ask God to help you. Ask the Lord to help you. Number two, feed your spirit with the word of God, with scriptures, sermons, going to church, pour into your spirit. And that's what I want to say. And I hope y'all have a beautiful and blessed day and be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And have a beautiful day. Be blessed in Christ.